And there's also a way to use this to get back the global swing functionality that Live used to have. In this case, we're just going to ignore the settings of the particular template. So it could work with any one of these. It's not going to matter because I'm going to turn the timing all the way down. In this case, the 16B information is not going to be used at all. We're just going to use this. Uh, so now you can, if you just want like a real-time 16th note, non-destructive type of quantize, you can do that. Uh, you know, I can put and say these notes are off now. Well, if I put this on 16B, I'm just getting 16th notes. No swing or anything like that, just regular 16th notes. Now, of course, I could do this by right-clicking and going to the settings here and applying it. But that's destructive. Now they're stuck that way. What if you're not sure, you know? Or maybe you just want to uh, you want to play around. You play something in a little bit off, but you know you're not sure if you need to tighten it up a lot or a little bit. Well, I can just use any one of these uh, templates. Set it, in this case a sixteenth. I'll put a hundred percent initially. Put this down here to the same one, of course. And initially, it's going to keep it, you know, obviously one hundred percent sixteenths. But now I can play around with this. And you know, I might change my mind tomorrow when I say it needs a bit more, it needs a bit less, but you know, my initial timing variations are are kept because once you destructively uh, apply either with the commit or this quantize menu, it's gone. So you're not gonna get that back. It's a way you don't have to worry about that. And you can also replicate the global shuffle that Live had just by going to 16T. Because that's all swing is doing is just going to a triplet. And so I can go from nothing. Let me quantize these first of all. And then bring that up slowly. So this is going to give you the same control that you used to have at the top. And again, 16T is the one that you want. Because if we put 16T on here, Say I'll do it, uh, you know, 66%. Notice the two and the four got shifted over. The same exact thing that these things are doing. They're all based off of just going towards a triplet. So it's another way of mimicking it. Now this just applies to the uh, the machine ones, like the MPC and the notator. Obviously the percussion and the rock stuff, that's going to be a little more complex. It's going to be pushing and pulling all throughout the, the template. It's not going to just be the two and the four. It's going to be more to it. but for the ones that are based off of the machines and the computer programs, those are essentially just uh, you know working on a, a, a regular shuffle. Now some of these do have velocity in them as well. You can see there's a velocity parameter. You can program velocity for your groove. That's a big part of what makes something groove. Even if you don't have shuffle, you can make something groove just by the velocity alone. So the amount that you want applied, uh, either negatively or positively, you can go there. And I even noticed some of the machine-based templates have velocity in them as well when the actual machines themselves didn't impart this naturally I think uh, the team in Ableton must have just added this to give a bit more flavor to the to the templates but if you want to you want to strictly emulate the old hardware I would pretty much keep this all the way at zero I think even in one of them uh, I can't remember which one it was has a very slight velocity change in those hits I'm not really sure um, if somehow they detected that from the hardware I don't think it should but it's just something to watch out for sometimes because you, you might not want your velocity changed. Some of these presets have velocity on that, so uh, look out for that. Now, if we go through these here, uh, again, I showed you the base and the quantize. We're going through timing. Random adds obviously a random element to the timing, and it does it on a per voice basis. So if you have, for instance, a chord. Each one of these notes would get a different timing variation, which is you know cool for doing strings or uh, just getting kind of a flam effect on a chord on some type of acoustic instrument. But as far as groove goes, pretty much stay away from anything random because even if a real player is playing off time, they're not playing off time randomly unless they're just not very good. So I don't think you really want to approach that unless you use a very small amount of random, maybe a few percent or something like that. Uh, that might be able to mimic some of the uh, regularities of old machines and old hardware because I don't think they were really I don't know if they were really off musically it was probably just to do with the timing and the clocks in them it wasn't perfect 
you know, it wasn't really ruining the groove, it just gave it a little bit of life, so uh, I would just be pretty careful with a random thing. Uh, again, pads and strings would be more appropriate. But there was one th issue I had, there's a couple issues actually with the way that this works, and if you even notice here, notice how these notes are changed uh, with the length. I'm not sure why this is happening, because if I take the template out onto the arrange page, which you can do to edit them, and then you can edit it, and then you can right click it to turn it back into a groove. And that's how you make a groove out of something you played yourself, was just go to extract groove. It works for both MIDI and audio. But if you notice with the 16B template, all the notes are the same length. And they're actually the same length as the notes I originally had in my clip. Yet somehow these notes are shortened. If we go and undo this, let's go a few levels back, of course. So actually, my notes are a little bit shorter, but even if we uh, make them the same, I think that's the same. Notice again when I apply this 16. Uh, B or any of these, it seems I've even made my own. Notice how not only is the timing is changing, but these notes are getting long and these are getting shorter. I'm not really sure why that's happening because the template doesn't have any length information. There's no way to stop that because you don't have control of length. So uh, I think this needs to be something that's addressed because you don't want your notes changing length. What if you have uh, notes exactly the way you want them and now you put a swing to them and it's going to change? So uh, it's a little bit of a problem, it looks like. You know, in the normal quantize, you had a start and an end parameter. It looks as if these templates are doing the end and the start, which is not wanted. So hopefully that's not going to be an issue. This is something I noticed.